Hey YouTube! I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. Hey YouTube! I'm back with another video. I know it's been a minute. Um, since I've been on here, my last video was about my lock journey, as y'all can see. It's somewhat growing. Um, I really need my hair done really, 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 really bad. Um, but uh, let's get into the video. So today is going to be about the month of May. Um, the month of May is mental health awareness. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, mental health. Um, in my last couple of videos, you have noticed that I talk about mental health a lot. That is my major psychology actually um so it's it's part of me pr pretty much um i'm gonna talk about um one of my particular tattoos um also about my cutting it as well i'm gonna also put in the description box the other videos where i talk about my mental health so stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in a minute okay hi guys so happy to be coming back with the another video um it is mental health awareness month the month of may um i can't even believe it's may already you guys like what the hell time has fucking flown okay like it's like may already birthday passed um what else um School is about to be over. I actually turned 25. Um, yeah, like, I'm still in shock that it's May. Like, it literally was just freaking November. It was just Thanksgiving. Like, but I'm here to talk about the month of May, um, mental health awareness, you guys. I wanted to talk about... Um, some of the mental health disorders that we have that in the black community in my opinion aren't really talked about um depression is very real um that's number one that is a that is like the main one that i know a lot of people tend to suffer from um depression um also anxiety um, just being anxious, you know, um, it could be a time where you have to perform or you have to talk in front of a group of people or, um, sending out a risky text, um, that can make you anxious. Sometimes when I get on here, I can be a little bit anxious. I can have anxiety because I just, sometimes I just be nervous. I don't know what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it. Um, so that included in, um, anxiety, what I wanted to talk about also is one of my tattoos. So, um, as y'all can see, and I will zoom in, well, <laughs> this is my tattoo that symbolizes my depression. I have been dealing with depression for over 10 years now um I actually went to go see a counselor in seventh grade I might have talked about that in um my past video but um that's when it all started and before I was a very quiet person when it came to my feelings and emotions you really wouldn't know if I was happy sad glad angry upset you wouldn't know because it, it never showed on my demeanor. I always had this smiley face all the time. Always, It always seemed like I was always happy. And you know that is unrealistic. No one is happy all the time. But, um, yeah. And depression, that, that girl is a bitch, okay? Like that girl is something else because one thing about depression is you'll be having a great day right 
you'll have a great you'll be having a great day and all of a sudden you just get sad out of nowhere and you just be like what is wrong with me like I was just happy like you know what I'm saying and it sucks it really 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 sucks and I know for me I tend to feel loneliness that is my biggest um my biggest issue with my depression my loneliness kicks in and it's just like "Mm, I really don't have nobody I'm by myself you know what I'm saying and that's what that's what depression does it's like it talks in your ear and makes you feel like you you're worthless you know what I'm saying you don't you don't have no type of purpose in this world it just makes you feel so fucked up (laughs) For back of, a better of lack of words, um, it just makes you feel really bad. So, um, what I recommend to people that are dealing with depression is writing. Like, um, as I may have said in my other videos, like writing is really, really good. Um, even if it's writing a song, even if it's writing some poetry, or just jotting down feelings and emotions that you may be having. I definitely recommending writing um I have a very unhealthy coping mechanism mechanism excuse me which is cutting and I already may have showed y'all on some of my others like you know my cutting these aren't really as visible but I recently just did this probably a couple of weeks ago two three weeks ago and it's very frustrating that I can't seem to break out of that like it's like when I get into this place where it's like feels like I'm in this dark hole that I can't get out of and I just want one way or another to release my pain and um I don't know how I don't know how without just you know doing stuff like this you know what I'm saying or you know I have some you know right here too I really 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 need to find another way of coping like so I'll say in the comments you guys drop some things that you guys do to help with your depression and how you cope because when I say a bitch really be fucked up a bitch really be fucked up like I really 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 honestly need help and I don't and I don't feel like I'm scared to say that that I need help like I know that I'm not 100% good I know when I wake up I don't always be 100% happy with my life and where I'm at you know what I'm saying but to keep pushing is what what matters in the end I know that right now I'm alive but I'm not living And I want to live. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just wake up in the morning and be in a body. You know what I'm saying? I want to be happy that I woke up. I want to be grateful. Granted, I am that God even, you know what I'm saying, woke me up this morning. And every other morning he woke me up. I am very grateful because it could have been another way. You know what I'm saying? It's endless people that are dying. There's so many people are dying. And I really, really want to give a shout out. And, um recognition to Nipsey Young like you man like you were an incredible soul on this earth you were the Tupac for our generation and we are forever grateful for you love you Nipsey rest in peace right rest in paradise and watch over us um really have that much else to say i hope you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll be putting out a video again soon don't worry it's not going to be the end of angie i got some more stuff coming don't worry all right i'll see you guys later bye